everybody welcome to my channel in this video I will be doing an eight-day no social media challenge so in this challenge I have given myself some rules no Instagram no Facebook no snapchat no messenger no Twitter and then Pinterest I don't really count as social media it's more of like inspo so that's the gist of my rules. I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for what happens next. See you then. <laughs> hours since I deleted all of my apps and up until now I haven't really wanted to look at anything any social media until now I think it's like when I'm not doing anything that's my update right now all right so it's about 6 30 and I just got out of the shower and I currently have a mask on my acne as you all know it's been a little overboard recently so just trying to heal that my face is a little um red i think the cleanser i use is too harsh on my skin i am just kind of cooling down from the hot shower i just had it's been crazy i haven't had like access to social media like i never really think that i use it a lot as like i'm going throughout the day i'm like reaching for my phone to have that 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 feel you know just to look at something or occupy some time with but instead I'm just having to do something else more productive than you know scrolling through my phone so yeah I'm kind of excited to see how it goes throughout the week I've done social media breaks before but not for like all of them at once but I wanted to mention one of like the reasons why I wanted to do this is because I've noticed that I've been comparing myself more to other people, people I used to have relationships with, people that I used to be friends with, just different things. And you know, I'm, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to be that person who's like envious of what they have just because I'm not there yet. And so I think I got to the point where I'm like. I really don't want to feel like this so I'm just gonna take myself out of the equation and not look at it and not go to those lengths of feeling that kind of way about myself so yeah that's kind of where I've been at for the past few months and it's just time for me to you know grow up from that stage and move on this is one way of doing it so hopefully I'll learn from this experience so I'll probably check in with you guys before bed and then in the morning Okay, so it's about 9.50 and I am getting ready for bed. Um, day one was very successful, so I'm proud of myself. Give myself a little pat on the back. I'm looking forward to day two. So I started on a Sunday just because I'll wrap up next Sunday as well. So I wanted to give it a full, it's really like eight days, but it's a week, so... Sunday is a beginning to a week for some people so I um, work all this week so that'll be interesting to document and see I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow bye Okay, so I am on my lunch break. I tend to eat in my car. I am 
I just grabbed something from McDonald's because, you know, my new Switch came in, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, it was supposed to come in yesterday or last night, but um, it got delayed. But it came in this morning. Just wanted to update you guys. I haven't really been thinking about social media. Yeah, I think this is going really well. I don't really miss it, but the only thing I really did used it for was to waste time pretty much. I don't really chat with anybody on Instagram or I barely use Snapchat in the last year. So yeah, I am about to eat my lunch and then go back to work. Hopefully I can get off a little earlier today so I can unbox my Switch. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I will see you guys after work and update you guys then. And I am back home. I changed into something way more comfortable and I'm about to eat, but look what came in my switch that I'm so excited to open but I will do that after dinner because I'm starving update um, social media who it does not exist in my life anymore so that's cool it doesn't bother me so I'm completely jazzed about that as of yet I don't want to jinx it but as of yet I don't feel the need for it I don't miss it so I'll see you when I unbox my new friend here. <laughs> These scissors are like dead. Come on, look at them. Like, they're doing the splits. She's so pretty. Look at her. Close up. Yes, ma'am. I'm so excited. Let me open this up. Oh, she cute. So cute. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? She cute too. Look, look, look. Oh, it's so cute. This is like nothing to do with social media, but I guess it is electronic, so. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. 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 Oh, you like a microphone on. So, it is the end of the night, and I am getting ready for bed. Check in. There's no social media, no wanting for social media. I feel a lot freer. Like I don't have the the need to constantly check my phone. To be honest, this challenge is seeming a little bit easier than I anticipated. It is like almost 11 o'clock and I need to go to bed. And then I will see you all in the morning. Good night. debating on Starbucks drink. I'm trying to go for under 100 calories and I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's um, a killer caramel cold brew. Sounds really good. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Very for real, I'm leaving this one. Okay, it's 12.50. It is lunchtime. Recently, as of like last night, <laughs> I watched this video. Um, I don't remember her name. If you don't know already, weight loss has been, or just weight in general, has been like a huge like insecurity for my whole life. So I'm starting to count calories again. Uh, brief history, I was vegan for a year recently being vegetarian now I'm just like kind of trying to reset myself in a way I hadn't had meat up until like the end of last year and I've been like incorporating meat a little bit just chicken not red meat um, no fish I don't really care for fish anymore um, the smell just kind of throws that out the window for me so I've been incorporating a little bit more chicken not every day because I still want to have that balance of you know, health and also hum uh, humanity, humanity, humanitarian. <laughs> so I was looking at the calories for McDonald's, McDonald's and, and um, Taco Bell. 
because I was curious. And did you know, for one hot and spicy tiny uh, McChicken, I believe it was like 380 calories. Um, and then for Taco Bell's cheese quesadilla, for cheese quesadilla, it was like 400 and something calories. Well, those two things won't even fill you up. I had a, a McChicken yesterday for lunch and I was starving by the time I got off work and that was only like two or three hours. I had just that. I didn't have any fries or nothing with that. That's like such crap and it's, it's just annoying. It's really annoying. I ended up getting Taco Bell today. Got their Power Bowl which was 400 calories but you have a lot of nutrition stuff in there. Nutritious stuff because it is fast food but you know like avocado, beans, rice, and I just thought that was a better option. She looks really good. I got chicken in it. Hopefully it's good. I just I just needed something that was gonna hold me till dinner. I have two forks. I only need one. Just because I'm really thinking about transforming myself because I'm so sick of myself. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So you might be asking yourself why is she laying down? Well, I was at work and I had this huge migraine, like to the point where I became nauseous. And when I came home, I just had to take something for it. I was choking on my water. So now like my headache's even like worse. So I'm just trying to relax and lay down. I was driving and I had to like blind myself from the light or from the sun because it was so bright. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and give you a different point of view than what you're used to. Now you can see that my, my head frame has lights on it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take a nap. of my times that I do stuff it's not necessarily anymore about social media because I don't feel the need for it I did like a few hours ago I was watching someone's video and I went to check her out on Instagram I mean I think if anything I learned that I don't need it it's just like a want every once in a while so I think that's really great progress. Tomorrow's Wednesday, halfway ish, halfway ish there. I am headed to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Okay, hmm. 
Starbucks complete. Got my drink. Got my bantam. Oh yeah, that's really good. I recommend. Tastes like a normal caramel cold brew. What are you looking at? <laughs> this is what they look like. They're yummy. Okay, so you didn't get to update this afternoon because my camera died. So, and I didn't want to vlog on my phone because it's trash. Um, but right now it's currently 9:30. I had a little temptation, so that's news. So tonight was supposed to be the premiere of Chicago PD, Med, and Fire. But unfortunately, because of the craziness that happened at the Capitol today and there was like a special report, it was taped over. So I didn't get to watch any of it. And I wanted to blast my misery on Twitter. <laughs> and you know, old Alana would have been like, screw this, I'm cheating and I'm doing it. But not this Alana. No, I um, didn't do it. And I'm proud of myself for that because I know I would have done it like a long time ago. I just got out of the shower. I cut myself shaving. Mm. Yes, I shaved my arms. This is it. It's so cute. It's a little t-shirt dress. And I love it because I don't like to wear pants at night. And um, so this is perfect. And I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. I just want to say I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. This week has been kind of long, kind of annoying, and I can't wait for next week's paycheck. All I gotta say is, whatever I just ate for lunch, it's going straight through. Is it TMI? I um, have a few minutes before I go back, but just wanted to check in. <laughs> My stomach hurts. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going because I'm gonna shit myself if I don't. Bye! Hello friends. I am back home. It is currently 6.03. I am getting started on my homework. I have a few little, um, I have some blueberries. They're kind of like pretty big. Look at those. They're beautiful. And they're super sweet. And I got my textbook open and my homework instructions. And yeah, I um want to do that and have a little snack before dinner. Everything's good. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details and the watching me <clears throat> do homework. But uh I'll check back in later. Nice. Good morning! Okay, so I am on my way to work again. You guys are probably tired of hearing that. Wow, my hair looks incredible. So we have two more days until this challenge is over. I didn't film last night because I really didn't feel like it. I had to finish homework anyway, so. I also am not putting my <laughs> camera on the dashboard right now because I have to go and I can't like catch it and I don't want it to break. So I'm holding it on top of my steering wheel. But yeah, I don't really have much to say. Oh, yes I do, that's a lie. I was laying in bed, like about to fall asleep, and I kept thinking about how I haven't heard from anybody on social media. And I think I say this because it, because it can go both ways. I'm not saying it because it's you know their fault or whoever's fault, it's two way street, so. Um, but I was just like thinking, I was like, if I never was on social media again, I don't know who'd I talk to. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'd actually like talk to anybody on social media because it's not intentional. It's not a test to see who your true friends are because I have friends that I talk to like very seldomly, but once we're back together, it's like nothing happened, you know what I mean? Um, and then there's people that get mad at that because, you know, they didn't try harder. <laughs> I feel like, I feel amazing to be honest with you because I, before I started the challenge, I would be, oh my 
god, get off my ass, man. I'm going, uh, okay, 45, but still, get off my ass. <laughs> okay, so, I just got to work. Hi. One time, I um, came back to my house because I didn't want to buy lunch. This is my lunch. Okay, um, chickenless chicken. I got some ranch. I got cooked. And I got some veggie straws. Um, 200 calories for five of these, so that's the lunch. Thank you for choosing Stafford's. What can I get you? Hi, I have a mobile order for Alana. For Alana, you can drive it up. Thank you. Something I wonder about. I'm more than sure I'm going to have mixed babies. <laughs> My whole family is Lebanese and like mixed with like white Italian and um, it'd be crazy because I'd be the first in our family to have mixed kids. My mom's best friend has a mixed daughter um, and that's like the only like family friend that is mixed. I just think that's so empowering. We have some family that is like a darker complexion but they're Lebanese. I'm trying to think because I have a huge family. So like my cousin, she's, we're first cousins. And her dad is Cuban. That means they have the darker complexion, but I don't think there's any African American like in our family. Like I embrace it and I think it's beautiful. Everyone should have that mindset, but not everybody does, unfortunately. Like I was saying, my whole family is mixed with Arab, Lebanese, Italian, Cuban, white. Um, and not all of us are all of those things, but um, you know, like throughout our family, like those are like the ethnicities. My ex and slash best friend slash probably person I'm gonna marry, complicated. He is African American and um, like I always thought, like I I will probably be the first person in our family to have mixed children. My brother's dating um, African American woman as well. Anyway, so I um I always thought about that. Like, and then I thought about like around Christmas we always do a Secret Santa thing with like the kids. Like, if you don't have kids and you're like under 30, then you're in it basically. So I always just imagine all of these white Lebanese kids and then there's like my little mixed baby right there. <laughs> and I think it's so cute. It's a beautiful thing to be mixed because you get both, like, I can't, I can't obviously speak from experience, but as I can imagine, I feel like it's a beautiful thing, you know? Like, you're unique, you're different. And I've always been a huge, like, fan of, you know, individuality and, just embracing like the beautiful qualities of people and you know I think it's it's sad I live in a world where people think otherwise people like hate you because of your skin color like it's so f***ed up it's so f***ed up and it makes absolutely no sense to me you know just because you're a little you're darker than somebody else automatically like thinks that you're below them or you're beneath them like I think that's so messed up and to live in this world where you know people are like that and they can't just embrace our differences they have to act on them in a hateful way and that's just my two cents of how my rant of the day good morning oh man i am gonna start last night we had a family slash game night thingy with dinner and I wasn't here at our house so I didn't film um and then when I got back it was like 11 30 and I finished up editing just the beginnings of editing and then I went to bed it was like 12 before I went to bed 12 50 or something but currently it's like 9.05, um, today is my grandmother's memorial, her first one year memorial. And normally I would go to church, but I haven't found a church yet. And I've been saying that for a year. Just, I think I've been scarred too many times for certain churches. 
so it's just difficult to like move past it but I'm trying last night was crazy there was some news uh, in my family I didn't know how to feel about it I've just been thinking a lot and praying a lot because I'm kind of questioning a lot so I know it's all in my head but it's just the way I feel not just regarding what happened last night I just I question myself a lot and the choices that I make sometimes I don't know if I make the right one or if I'm just thinking about myself I did a oopsie today because I wanted to read about the Pakistani electricity outage um I clicked on a link and it took me to Twitter but I was like oh can't get can't be on here <laughs> I have like a couple hours left so I can't do this so I'm um overall pleased with how this week went I'm proud of myself for sticking it out even when there were challenges or you know something else going on I think I'm gonna wrap it up for now and um probably see you guys later probably in the afternoon so I'm wrapping up today's video and it's just been a whirlwind just being able to cut social media out and be held accountable for it I mean you guys can't see me off camera but I've, to I've told my whole family that I live with that I'm not doing social media for a week so don't even ask me it's been crazy I mean regardless of the stuff that's online I feel like I haven't even really paid much attention to it you know I still have access to like the news outlets and just in case anything happened but I um I feel free like I feel like I'm not being controlled by social media anymore and some people might point out that well you're still doing social media because you're on YouTube but this is a creative outlet for me because even though editing takes forever and it's draining and it sucks sometimes it's a creative outlet and that's what I need more of in my life so yeah Instagram is the main one that I I use and it's not so much but it's more of the influences that I allow on my feed of certain things so that's one of the things that I feel like I've taken the power back from you know not allowing myself to see these things that can candles make noise to where it sounds like a mouse this is pretty much it um i appreciate you guys if you're still here i thank you and i'm gonna wrap this video um challenge was a success and i couldn't have done it without the the drive and the listen hold up i could have done it I could have done it easily, but having this kind of accountability um, and wanting to publish this video, you know, in a week, like I wanted to stick through it and I wanted to challenge myself as well, you know. In the past, I have started stuff and I never finished it or completed it. And with this challenge, I really pushed it because I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to be better, I'm trying to be. A better person so that's gonna wrap up today's video please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye what made you poop liquid i'm blasting them you're welcome